So you wanna adjust the render distance for your PS1 style project inside Unreal Engine 5 to optimize the performance of your game. So it runs on every single potato laptop out there. No problem, <laughs> nothing easier than that. So uh, first of all, I have here a basic level and I use the the asset collection from a website, the, the forest asset collection. Um, the link is down below if you're interested and need some trees or something. So uh, let's give it a, a little look. This is the current situation. And um, yeah, in most games we have uh, large objects like um, buildings, trees and such, or monuments and smaller assets, items, and and foliage, like here. So uh, for the for the distance rendering, uh, for the small things we can set up a very low value, and for the bigger stuff we need to set up a higher value. So they can be seen from a larger distance, and for example the grass here, it's not that important, so we don't Ne it's not necessary to see that grass uh, from over a kilometer distance or something like that. So we're just tipping our toes in that field, but I think it will already be enough for you to get an, an sense how this would work for your project and what's possible. Um, uh, basically the first step uh, I can only recommend uh, for you to keep everything organized inside folders you can always add here a new folder name it I have here all the trees in one folder and all the plants and foliage in other folder so to select everything inside a folder for example the, the trees here Select it, left click, right click, select all descendants and now we have selected all the trees. Now we can set up a value um, that determines how far away the trees are still visible. So we selected all the trees in our folder and now 17 objects are selected and if we change something here it will apply to all our selected things. So we need here the LOD, you can also type it in here in the search function, LOD and there is this, the desired max draw distance. This is what we need to adjust. And this here works with uh, Unreal uh, units, um, we already talked a bit about that in the fog tutorial. So basically the render distance goes hand in hand with the with the fog um, post process material, but later to that. So I want a very high value for the trees and I will go here with uh, 7,500. That's a good distance. So let's give it a try. So you can see the side max draw distance, all the trees, save, let's try it. Currently we can see all the trees. Let's go to the edge of the map. And soon the trees back there, yeah, they are popping out of existence. Nice. If we go back, they will load, load in again. This will um, help our PC to process the whole game. So let's do the same thing, but with a way smaller value for the plants. So trees are done basically. Select the folder, right click select, all descendants, they're all selected. LOD, still typed in, and desired max draw distance. I want something like um, 2500. Save. And let's give it a try. 
So far so good. Let's Yeah, that's a pretty good setup for small things like that. For foliage or small items inside a building. I think um, for environments with buildings, it's even less noticeable because a building is pretty huge and you can't see inside anyway. So you can set up a very low close value like here with the 2500. So, and um, yeah, let's just attack that because we had it um, in the fog tutorial, uh, post process volume and MAT material. We have here the fog post process material from the tutorial. If we turn it all the way up, and uh, let's go to the folder. I have here the material instance. We set up here a value in uh, Unreal units and it's 2500. So the distance of the fog is 2500. That means we shouldn't see how the um, foliage and the plants load in because of the fog. So we can a bit, we can work with the fog and basically this will performance wise and uh, visually adapt one to one to uh, Silent Hill for the PS1. So let's give it a try. So now the render distance um, of the foliage, the trees and the distance of the fog are exactly the same. So with this, uh, with the end of the fog starts the rendering distance. Nice, pretty nice. So I hope you got something out of this tutorial and I hope it what, I hope it was informative. If you want to see more tutorials like this, consider subscribing. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Um, and yeah, I, I really appreciate the, the good feedback of the, of the PS1 tutorial series so far inside Unreal Engine 5. And yeah, and I hope we can attack uh, bigger topics in the future and maybe I can help you to uh, realize your whole game or something, or we can create a little game together or something like that. Yeah. So if you want to support me, consider becoming a Patreon like those lovely people. Um, and yeah, see you in the next one, I guess. Bye.